you got a video explaining the spread axle. Now, I don't have one, but I can make one real quick. So most people, they feel like, you know, uh, spread axle, you know, 20,000 pounds on each axle. So 40,000 on the trailer, as far as the tandem axle, is just 34,000 on the trailer. So, you know, that's that's like the biggest thing that sticks out when people see spread axles. You know, 40,000 on the rear. But there are some other, some other things as well. So look, to help me with this video, I brought along my trusty iPad so we can get some facts. I also have my trusty assistant slash secretary if I make a mistake. So you see those two clips I just showed you. So the first one was a tandem axle. The second one was a spread axle. So the only actual difference is obviously the distance between the axles. Rear axles of tandems, usually five feet. Spread axles, 10 feet, usually. Among the advantages of a wider space angle is the st stability while loading and unloading of the trailer. The weight between the axles is also distributed better compared to tandem axles. So check this out. Whenever I be getting unloaded, most of the time, nine times out of ten, they start at the rear. They start at the rear and they work their way forward. Majority of the time. I'm not going to say that's the case all the time, but I do know carrying heavy weight, say like lumber, sheetrock, um, shingles. You know, shingles are smaller than lumber and sheetrock, but you'd be surprised. They almost gross the same thing. They almost gross out like 48,000 pounds. So, imagine if you had the tandem axles and you had the axles closed in on the rear and you start unloading from the rear and you got all the weight in the middle of the trailer. Boom, it could just go straight down. But on that spread axle, the axles are spread out. So, the weight is distributed better. So, yeah, that makes sense. With all the benefits, spread axles have disadvantages as well. For instance, they are harder to turn, result in faster tire wear. Spread axle trailers are not the best at tight turns or at crowded docks. Also, when you're at a truck stop, the nose of your truck will be left hanging past the other trucks. Other truckers probably would not appreciate it. They don't appreciate the flatbedders. Spread axles are harder to back. They're harder to back. You have to go wider. You have to get your setup. A whole lot wider you, you i'm not gonna say you can't do a 90 degree turn but you have to just it's best to not do it if you don't have to do it don't do it because your inside axle on that spread is going to be dragging the ground and it could probably if you got recaps on it might you know might pull it down recap off of it or whatever but you know backing up a spread you know it just comes with practice like once you figure it out you'll be able to put that motherfucker anywhere you want anywhere you want and people say flatbedders can't back. Guess what? We hit crowded docks just like the dry vans. Generally, spread axles are better suited for long hauls. They handle better conditions, track better, and easier to balance on the scales. But if you run full boxes or drive in tighter spaces, such as city roads a lot, tandem axle trailers may be a better idea for you. Guess what? I've been in New York City hundred times with spread axles and yes it's tight it could be better with tandems but it is what it is spread axle trailers have advantages on the road as well they track behind the tractor better and are more stable because of the longer wheelbase for the same reason they handle the bumps better so it is a good choice if you need to make sure the cargo is not bounced around guess what they always say the most important piece of cargo in a tractor trailer is the driver. I'm sure you've seen drive-ins that have the sign on the back. I'm not sure what company that is. Is it Amazon or something? Has something like the most important cargo is in the front seat or whatever. But that is so true. That is so true. When you pull in tandem axles, when you come up to a bridge, anytime I'm, any, anytime I'm about to come up to a bridge, I always... If I'm doing something in the truck, you know, if I'm trying to grab a drink or grab my phone or something, not hold my phone up now, but, you know, like touch it, make a phone call, 
or anything that you know that, that could take my focus anytime i'm about to hit a bridge i always make sure i sit up and I, I hold the wheel a little tight because when you hit the bridge it's like boom you feel the little bump you go down hey this ain't no air ride seat either but you know it's just in me so boom you feel the air ride go down and then your tractor will come up and then when your trailer comes up you'll feel the bump on the back as well i tell you this with a tandem axle when that back axles hit that damn bridge boom boom you're gonna feel it you'll feel it in the driver's seat but on a spread axle when you go across that bridge like a damn sailboat you don't really feel the bump it's smooth so that's that's a fact what the, what this little screenshot says that's a fact spread axles are a much smoother ride so hey did i answer the question for you brother did i give you a good comparison hey let me know man Thank you.